starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. On the Great Falls Clinic I can we have had partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day today and in the electric city we have been dry but elsewhere there have been scattered showers and a few thunderstorms around today. And as we take a look at a few of the cameras throughout North central Montana. Still a few raindrops on the camera over in Seiko, but really a lot of the area right now is just dealing with partly to mostly cloudy skies and dry conditions. But temperatures are cool no matter where you are. We're currently in the mid to upper 50s and low to mid 60s where you are, and that's partially because we have not had a lot of sunshine around today. Now, as we take a look at satellite and radar, we did have a band of light to moderate rain around throughout this morning along the high line. That band has, for the most part, dissipated. But right now, we are dealing with some scattered rain showers and a few thunderstorms. But these showers and thunderstorms will taper off as we go through the next few hours. And as we head into tonight and tomorrow, high pressure will build into our area, providing us with some nice weather. But another disturbance is working its way into the Pacific Northwest right now, and this will pass through our area later on tomorrow and tomorrow tomorrow night, bringing some scattered light rain showers to portions of central Montana. Now, as we take a look at future track for the rest of this evening, there will continue to be a few rain showers and thunderstorms around, especially east of I-15. But by about sunset, most of that precipitation will be done with and we'll have decreasing clouds this evening and then increasing clouds overnight tonight, especially during the second half of the night. Tomorrow, some sunshine around during the morning for some of us, but for a lot of the day, it is going to be mostly cloudy. We will be dry during the morning, and for most of the afternoon, we will be dry as well. But we'll have a chance to see a few rain showers tomorrow evening. Then there will be some scattered rain showers and a few thunderstorms around tomorrow night, especially in locations east of I-15 as that disturbance works its way through our area. A lot of that precipitation is going to be light in nature, though, so generally less than a tenth of an inch is expected in most locations if you see any rain at all. And then on Thursday, we'll part the cloudy skies and that rain shower activity will leave our area, so dry conditions are expected throughout the day. We did have breezy conditions today and we'll continue to have breezy conditions for the next couple of hours, but that wind will diminish this evening and then overnight tonight, the wind won't be an issue. And for tomorrow and Thursday, there will be a little bit of a breeze around, but the wind really won't be too bad with sustained wind speeds between five and 20 miles per hour in most locations. Low temperatures tonight are going to be on the cool side once again. A lot of us in the 40s and there will be spots that get down into the 30s once again tonight. We could see some patchy areas of fog in portions of north central Montana. Tomorrow will be warmer than it was today with high temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 60s and low to mid 70s in most locations. So it will feel very nice outside. Even warmer as we head into Thursday with a lot of locations topping out in the 70s and a few locations may even top out in the lower 80s. And then heading into Friday, a lot of locations will top out in the upper 70s and low to mid 80s. So one of the warmest days that we've had so far this year. But the bigger story on Friday is going to be the wind. We are going to have gusty winds around on Friday with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 30 miles per hour. That means we are going to have elevated fire weather conditions. So something to be aware of as we head into Friday. Still pretty nice on Saturday, but then showers and cooler temperatures will return as we head into Sunday and next week. In Helena, 70s the next couple of days, 80s on Friday and Saturday, and then cooler with some showers around for Sunday and Monday.